Hi, Matthew Poon here, photographer for the Advocate newspaper. Today I'll talk to Gilly Huber about the upcoming Gallery Lifestyle exhibition. So Gilly, can you tell me about your um, involvement in the Gallery Lifestyle exhibition? Uh, okay, well I've been involved with the exhibition itself for about three years entering paintings. Uh, but this year's just a little bit different. Um, they've asked several artists to do uh, two-hour sessions of demonstrating their work and I offered to assist with that and I'm going to be doing Sunday afternoon from one till three um, and I will probably do some of my pastel work there. Yeah. Um, are you entering any work into the uh, exhibition? Yes, I've got three paintings entered, yes. Uh, two oil paintings and um, a pastel painting. So how long have you been creating art? Well, really, since I was a little girl. I, I want, always wanted a pony when I was a little girl and we just couldn't afford it, so I used to draw them instead. And my walls were plastered with drawings of uh, horses and things. That, and I sort of kept it up all through, enjoyed art at school and everything. Um, but it was about, probably about 20 years ago, my daughter came home from university and brought home a box of pastels and said, Mum, it's time you started doing some colour. So that's when I started working in pastels. And then I was able to retire about 11 years ago, and that's when I really got into it. And I, I have this beautiful workspace. And when you've got a good sp workspace and just can leave everything set up, you know, it's, it's inspirational. You can just come out and just start. And so, yes, a long time. <laughs> With your work, are there any artists that inspire you? Oh yes, there's several artists that inspire me. I'm uh, extremely ex inspired by an artist called Greg Possel. He's a Queensland artist and paints wonderful evocative uh, paintings of birds. And I also love to paint birds. And there's um, a New Zealand artist called Susan Harrison Tustain. Um, and I follow her techniques a great deal. And another artist in Colorado, name of Arlita Peck. Um, and I follow her techniques they're techniques that really suit me, suit my, my style, and I love their work. Are you a self-taught artist? Absolutely. Well, self-taught to the point that um, I, I didn't have any formal training, but I, I work a lot from books, from um, DVDs, from magazines, follow artists that I, I really admire, and of course all the old masters as well. What sort of, um, what's your favourite subject matter, um, painting-wise? Uh, the natural world, really. I, I do paint a lot of animals and birds. Uh, I love to do fl florals. Um, I do a little bit of, um, you know, coastal scenes. Um, and I do get asked to do a lot of portraits, although I don't put myself up as a portrait artist. Um, I've done six portraits this year and have two more to go. <laughs> what do you think is the key behind uh, being a good artist? Um, practice. Uh, you know, there, there has to be, there's a basic talent there, but uh, if you take that talent and run with it and, and practice and love what you're doing, you know, it, there has to be a passion there. Cool. So. Thank you very much for talking to us. My pleasure. To read more about the upcoming exhibition, check out the next issue of The Advocate Newspaper.